Hey guys, so in today's tutorial, I'm going to be using the new Smashbox Cover Shot Makeup Palette um, eyeshadow palette, and this is in the matte colors. So these are what the colors look like, and I'll try to insert a picture of the uh, swatches of these colors. Um, I love this palette. I think it's a great palette. I love matte eyeshadows, especially these kind of mauve toned purplish colors. I think they flatter brown eyes really nicely. Um, so I did today kind of a brown smoky eye. So I don't know if you can see. Hopefully the lighting. So... Again, it's just a very light, um, not light, but very <sighs> smoky eye, yet not too crazy. Um, so yeah, so stay tuned. Um, I'm not going to be doing a voiceover. I'm actually going to just be talking with you and walking you through kind of the eyeshadow uh, tutorial. And I start off with one eye completely done, and then I show you how to do the other eye. So again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Bye! Alrighty, so we are going to go ahead and get started. So I have one eye already completed, if you can see. Okay, my camera focuses. Um, so this is kind of what it, so this is what it looks like. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I know I was going to do a voiceover, but I feel that sometimes vo voiceovers can be difficult with makeup tutorials. So I'm just going to go ahead and just talk with you um, and see how that goes. So we're going to get started. And like I mentioned, we are using today the Smashbox Cover Shot in Matte. And these are what the colors look like. So they are all mattes up my alley and what caught me what caught my eye about this palette is these two colors the mauve colors um I love mattes so I mean I love mattes and I love mauve colors so I had to have this palette okay so we're gonna start so my eye is already primed um I used an eye primer you can use whatever eye primer you use and then I put concealer over it to kind of just cancel out any redness okay so the first color we're gonna go into is this color right here the lightest one and we are going to use that as our crease color okay so we're going to go all in there Hopefully you can see what I'm doing okay so we're going to grab more So we just want a good base. Let me just... Whoa, close. Good personal. Okay. I think that's better. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to take this color right over here. It's the light purple color. I'm just going in, I'm taking all that top, and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to go in all over the crease. And on the lid too. So take more. And blend. So this look is all about blending. so true when makeup artists or you know beauty gurus say blending makes everything and it's so true so you just want a nice gradient between the soft brown and this light mauve color okay okay so once that's set, you are going to go ahead with a small, uh, what are these called? Point brush? Pointer brush? Ah, there we go. And with the dark purple or dark mauve color, this camera does not want to focus. So we're going to dab in. Like that. And then we're going to go and do kind of a slight 
Sorry, I had to stop because the doorbell rang. I swear, when you film, everything happens. The phone rings, the doorbell rings, you lose items. Okay, anyway, so you're gonna take this color and you're just gonna tap it in and then tap off the excess. Woo, okay. So then you're gonna go in and you, what you're going to do is, there we go. You are going to make a slight V. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. It's so hard to tell like what can you see and what you cannot, okay. Okay, so do you see? We're gonna build this color up too. So just go back in there with the dark purple and tap the axis and just continue to make this rather dark. Okay, and then what you're also going to do is just kind of just like a light wash of color around, almost like if you're making an eyeliner, just like that. All right, now what you're gonna do is, this is where the blending comes in. Oh my God, this camera, focus, there you go. Okay, then you're gonna slightly blend that. Now, I found that, well, basically with any matte eyeshadows, they're, they tend to be really hard to, to blend because of the formula. Uh, it's a drier formula than um, a shimmery eyeshadow, eyeshadow or just those creamy eyeshadows. So you have to work a little bit harder. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up that light shadow, pink one here, again, so we don't use that in the crease. Okay, then you're going to take that blending brush, any blush like this, and just blend. I'm going to use this one that's fluffier. I'll list all the br brushes on my description box for you guys. Okay, then what I typically do to kind of clean the edges is I take this shadow here, and it's almost like a highlight, just to kind of but also clean up what I've done. Take a little bit more. And you see how it kind of just cleans that area? Okay, so I'm just gonna See how it's starting to look. Okay. Gonna blend that a little bit more. Okay, then what I'm going to do is go in with the first uh, eyeshadow we went for, which is this color here. Just take a little bit and kind of just use it to blend out what we did.
Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the bottom lash line and we're gonna go in with the purple. What I wanna do is mix the purple with this color. So diffuse it and then top it and then go on the bottom lash line. Okay, and then I'm just going to blend that. Okay, and then I'm going to take a clean brush like this and just kind of blend that too again. Okay, now it looks kind of crazy right now, but it's going to come together once I have the mascara on. So then I'll, I'm going to curl my lashes. Okay, and then I'm going to take my two favorite, which are the Too Faced uh, Better Than Sex and the Maybelline Lash Sensational. And I'm going to do my bottom. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and do is go take an angled brush like this and then take the purple color again this one and tap it in lightly tap off the excess and then I'm gonna just do an eyeliner use this as an eyeliner and that my top eyel um, eyelid oh, I'm not even showing you what I'm doing okay let me do it again Okay, and the last step is I take my eyeliner. This is just take any eyeliner brown. I know MAC uh, Teddy would be a good eyeliner for this look. This is the Ulta Automatic Eyeliner in Chocolate. And it's just a pretty bronze color. So I'm just going to take that on my waterline. Okay. And the tight line. 